How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing good. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the pages in my sketchbook and talking about the art that's in here. I know that most artists on YouTube typically do a sketchbook tour once they've filled a sketchbook whereas I've only got about 10 pages done in here. That probably comes down to how I draw in this sketchbook though. Instead of sketching in it and using it to practice, I create fully finished artworks on each page and you'll see what I mean as we get into this. Okay, so here is my sketchbook. I've got my logo as a sticker on the front. This is a, an A5 moleskin sketchbook, if anyone's wondering. I always leave out the first page for some reason, so I'll flip to the, the first page that has something on it. This is a, a double page spread, I suppose, even though these drawings are not connected. They are similar in style. I'll just talk about each of these separately. I remember drawing this, I have the, the footage in a video on the channel somewhere, it's quite a, an old one, I think I, I might have drawn this in 2019 even, I'll, I'll see if I can find some clips of me drawing this. As you can see though there's a, a lot going on here, I think all of this is drawn in one point perspective, although it was all done freehand so it might not be that accurate. This is like a, an industrial environment, there's these train tracks here and there's a, a train there in the distance. There's all of these walkways and machines as well. I do like all of these pipes and vents that are drawn on the underside of this section at the top. If you're familiar with my work you'll know that I sometimes add Japanese text to the images. I think, well, I, I do like the cyberpunk genre but also I think it complements my style of drawing in a way. This is the page next to that one, again like I say, I was very much inspired by things related to that cyberpunk genre. Ghost in a Shell might come to mind as you look at this and, and see this woman on top of this building. I think this is meant to be a, a hologram, although if I was to draw this again I probably would have made this more transparent to give, give off that effect. This was one of my favourite drawings for a while, I like the perspective here and also the composition with the woman being off to the side. Uh, again there's some Japanese text below here, they do say something as well, it's not just random letters, I generally use Google Translate and then just draw what it gives me. I can't remember what any of this says though, it's probably a, an incorrect translation anyways. Let's, uh, let's turn over to the next page anyways. Uh, this was a good one here, the, the, the video in which I had drawn this in actually did quite well in terms of views, a, a lot of people liked this one. This is a, a top down view of this cityscape, again there's a, a lot of similarities to the last few drawings that we had just looked at. If you look at what's going on here though, you'll see that there's this person sat on a sofa on the roof of this building and he has a, a load of items next to him, giving the impression that he comes up here a lot. It's obviously quite a, a dense city and there's a, a lot of mechanical elements. And then there's the, the opposite of this being shown on this billboard here where there's this picture of a, a beach with palm trees and a sunset. And so this person in the chair here is probably staring at that, dreaming of being someplace like that. This is what was going through my head as I was drawing it at least. I had drawn most of this from my imagination. I should probably try colouring these drawings as well, I've been adding more colour to uh, a lot of my drawings recently. Anyways, onto this next page, this is quite a, an interesting one, I, I think I had found a, a model of this head on a, a website like Sketchfab or, or Turbo Squid, and I, I thought it would be something good to draw. Of course, I, I had only drawn a section of it here, seeing as the, the mouth is missing, this was intentional though. Because I wanted to have this look as if this giant statue of a head is being built in the middle of this city. And so you can see around the bottom of this that there's this scaffolding and, and platforms around it. I've even added a, a date to this one here at the bottom. 7th of the 1st, 2019. So this was drawn a while ago. Likewise with the, the previous drawings we've just seen. Notice here as well how I've also added a, a bolder outline around the building in the forefront here. Again, there's a, a lot of detail and line work to look at. Flipping over to the next page, we have a, a drawing that I've done more recently. Rather than being a, a full page, this is just a, a drawing of a building that I had come across in Japan. I'm not sure what stood out to me or, or why I decided to draw this, but I like the mirrors on this post here more than the, the building itself. You'll see as we progress through this all of the other buildings that I've drawn from Japan. 
I visited in, in 2020, I believe, and that trip did influence my work quite a bit. I remember just wanting to get home and draw all of the things that I had seen. On this next page is a funny one. There's this colossal turd destroying this city. There's some choppers flying above it. And in the, in the forefront here, there's this tank looking like it's ready to fire at the turd. I think this idea came from a, a video that I made in which I was given a, a prompt by someone. That's quite a good idea actually. I'd, I'd maybe like to do something like that again where I ask you guys to give me a prompt for some drawings. I do like this one though. I really like all of the detail on the turd and the scales that I had drawn on it. Look at its eyes as well. It just looks like it doesn't care. It's just causing mayhem. There's all of this rubble and destroyed buildings around it. Turning over to this next page, you'll see that I haven't drawn on this yet, but it looks like I had drawn something on it at some point and erased it to then draw something new. I'll have to finish drawing on that page, but the next one next to this, it, again, this is something that I had drawn more recently. This was drawn from a, an image that I had found online. I think I was just in the mood to create a realistic drawing like this. There's a, a lot of detail here and I actually coloured this one using Procreate on my iPad. The colour really brings it to life. Sunset Station I decided to call this one once I had coloured it. As I say I might also colour some of those older drawings. This one is similar in style to some of those earlier drawings in the sketchbook. Again, I think I found this model of a cat, and so I decided to incorporate it within a, a drawing like this. Similar to the, the giant head that was sat on top of a building, you can see this cat is also being worked on. There's some scaffolding around this, and, and I think that's even a, a person that I had drawn in there. What I like about this one though is that there's a, another one of these cats in the distance, on top of another building, facing the other way. You know, that suggests that there's a, a few of these statues on top of a few buildings in this city. If you look down here as well, you'll see a, a sofa and a TV on the floor. I really enjoy adding these smaller details in that can also tell a, a story. Over on this next page, there's a, a half-finished drawing of a building in Japan. I will eventually finish this off. I might draw something a bit out of the ordinary onto this. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Ah, this next one is one of my favourites. It's, it's actually based on a, a real image that I had seen of this monorail in China somewhere, and it runs through a, a building. In fact, the, the video in which I had drawn this was on the subject of using reference images creatively, and so there was a, an image that was from a similar point of view looking up at this monorail, and I obviously added to this and made it my own by drawing this station below here, as well as some buildings in the background there. What I like most about this one though, is this guy that's, that's sat on top of this canopy here. He's right up there in the distance looking down at everything. Notice as well how the canopy, or shelter, whatever you want to call it, is the same as this one down here. I also coloured this drawing. As, as soon as I had started drawing this, I imagined it to be some kind of a night scene. Hence why I had coloured this using a, a lot of blue. Here on the page next to this, there's a, another building that I've drawn. I'm not sure why there's this box here that I haven't drawn anything in. It looks like I had drawn something in there and then erased it. I, I sometimes change my mind and, and end up removing stuff, but I wonder what I could draw in there. If any of you guys have some ideas, then let me know. There's actually more pages finished than I first assumed, but I, I think I'm nearly done now. Again, here are two buildings that I had drawn. I often use Google Earth to look around and find interesting buildings to draw as well. The one on this side is a, a barber shop. I like the, the bicycle that's outside there. I also just appreciate how clean this one is. There's this lamppost in front and these wires above. I do, I do like this one. And so I think this is the last one here. This was drawn a, a few weeks ago. It's a, a top down view looking at these buildings here and I have yet to draw something onto this billboard, but it could be like the earlier drawing that I had shown you where I had drawn a beach on that one. Perhaps I, I should draw the same image here to suggest that you know this is the same city. That might be quite cool, but here there's some boys sat on the edge of this building looking at all of this in front of them. Again, this was based on a, a real image that I had seen like this, but I added to it and uh, I don't mind this one. I guess it's just uh, another page within this sketchbook, but that's all the drawings in here up to now, so yeah, let me know what you think. 
So that's as far as I've gotten with this, and I mean, I have had this sketchbook for a good few years now. There was like a, a period of two years or so where I didn't do any drawing in this, but I have been drawing in it recently, and so I might start involving it within some of these videos. One day, I, I will finish this. There's just a, a lot of pages in here. I think it's time to revive a, a series that I had started on the channel a while ago called Sketchbook 100, in which I had set myself the task of finishing a, a full sketchbook, filling out each page in the same way as I have done here, but I'll have to come up with some ideas first. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, when I'm ready I will make a part 2 and show you some more drawings, but with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the content I create, then do consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You will gain access to exclusive tutorials, study documents, process papers, real-time drawing footage and more. Plus you will also be supporting me in a more personal way. Other than that, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon.